Hello students and welcome to another video lecture from Architects Academy Virtual Classroom. Today we are going to learn about the role of bent up bars in a slab. This can come as a question in your VIVA exam where you will be asked what is the role of bent up bars in a slab or why bent up bars are used in a slab. So to understand this let us try to understand what are the forces which are acting in a slab. So let us look at a typical cross section of a slab in which we might be having a slab with a beam like this. So this could be a simply supported slab like this or it could be a continuous slab like this. Now in both these cases what you will find is that since the slab has a beam at the two ends and a beam in the center, this beam is, is homogeneously cast with the slab and hence this acts like a sort of a fixed support and therefore if we try to draw the bending moment diagram of this particular slab considering that there is a load acting, a UDL which is acting like this on the slab, then we will find that the bending moment diagram would be somewhat like this, that there will be some amount of negative bending moment created at the support, also some amount of negative bending moment created over the continuous beam and again some amount of negative bending moment created at this beam because it is acting like a fixed beam. So this will be a negative BM, this will be a positive BM, this will be a positive BM, again negative BM here and negative BM here. So this is a sort of a bending moment diagram which will occur in a slab. Now what does this have to do with the bent up bars? Now one important principle you know that there is going to be in case this is a negative bending moment there is tension at the top. So what we will see is tension is there here. Then there is tension at the bottom here. Tension at the top here. Tension at the bottom here and tension at the top here. So the first most important principle which we use always is in case of RCC is that Wherever there is a tension, we provide the reinforcement. So it is important that to understand that wherever there is tension, we have to provide reinforcement. So that is one important criteria which you must understand. Second important criteria is that at this particular point, at the supports here, here and here, you will find that the shear force is maximum at the support. So though we are showing them as beams, you can consider them to be supports for the slab. And therefore at this particular point which are shown by the circles you will see that the shear force is going to be maximum in this case. So there has to be some type of reinforcement to counteract the shear or resist the shear. So reinforcement is required to resist the shear. So these are going to be two important uh, criteria which we will be learning. Again one more time we will see. Wherever there, is a ten wherever there is a tension we require to have reinforcement and wherever there is a maximum shear force at that time we require to provide reinforcement to resist the shear. So with these two principles in mind now let us try to see why the bent up bars are provided.
So now considering the cross section of a slab, let us say now this is going to be our slab. And these are the beams. Let us take a beam in the center so that you will have some continuous slab also and one beam here at the end. So what we saw earlier was there is some tension here, some tension here. So tension is created at the top here. There is tension here because of negative any moment and there is tension here created due to negative any moment and then here also there is tension at the bottom because of positive any moment and tension here at the bottom because of the positive any moment. So what we saw is that wherever there is tension we require to provide the reinforcement. So that's why what you will see is that whatever at the bottom here since there is tension we are providing the reinforcement here at the bottom and at this particular point we are going to take this reinforcement above like this and then we are going to take it into the next slab. Similarly here also we are going to take this reinforcement up and into the tension zone. So what we will see is that there is tension reinforcement here. Similarly what you will see is that here again you will have the reinforcement coming at the top because there is tension created here. So this is the first reason why the bent up bars are provided because after this particular point the tension gets transferred to the upper part of the slab and hence because of bending of this reinforcement sufficient reinforcement comes at this particular point to resist the negative bending moment which is there. Another thing which we talked about was the shear. Now in case of the beams what we can do is that we can provide the stirrups to take the shear. But since the slab has got a very small thickness it is not possible to provide the stirrups in case of the slab. So to take the shear again these bars which are going up at 45 degrees are going to resist the shear force. So to counteract the shear you will see that these bars they are going to be bent at an angle of 45 degrees. So why 45 degrees? Because the resultant shear acts at an angle of 45 degrees and therefore we have to provide bars which are acting in the opposite direction to take this shear and therefore they also have to be at an angle of 45 degrees. So this is the second reason why the bent up bars are required at near the support. Not exactly at the support but near the support. So the distance here which is governed by a distance like L by 4, L by 5, L by 7 and all that that distance is given to us by the structural engineer how much distance from where we should start bending the bars but important point to remember is that we have now got two reasons why we require to have the bent up bars so the first reason is to counter or resist the negative bending moment near the beam so that is number one and second reason is to resist the shear near the support or in this case, case near the beam and this is always the bent up bars are The bent up bars are bent at an angle of 45 degrees. So these are some of the important points which you should note 
when we are considering why the bent up bars are required in case of a slab. Thank you.